Okay, now we're finished with our sci-fi face. Go ahead and open up your image, your regular image, and we'll do a few things with color with this one. So first, we're going to change the hair color. To do this, we're going to need to select the hair. So grab your quick selection tool, drag across your hair, and depending on what your background is, this could be harder or easier for you. So my suggestion to you would be to click and drag in small increments. That way, when it jumps out to a place that you don't want it to be, you can just Command Z, zoom in, and try that section again. If it continues to catch that section, you can Alt, and then click and drag the section you don't want, and it will take that section out. So that looks much better. Don't worry about these flyaways. We will take care of them later. And just continue to do this until you have all of the hair selected. And again, I'll reiterate, do not worry about the extra flyaways because I have a trick to share with you which is gonna help you select those. Just worry about getting rid of this larger section whenever you run into something like that. Okay, that should do it, and as you can see, I did not worry too much about all the extra flyaways. I also didn't worry too much about some of the extra space around the edge that I caught. I'm gonna try to grab that a little bit there because I have a trick for you that is gonna help you select the edges a little bit better. So, go to Select, Refine Edge, and here is the selection which I just selected. Now, some of these things are just like the outline of some sections where we took the selection away. Don't worry about them. If they are a problem, we can get rid of them later. But the edge is pretty choppy here, so we are going to smooth that out by increasing the radius on the edge detection a little bit and increasing the smooth a little bit and increasing the feather a little bit. And you'll notice that this edge is not quite as harsh. Another thing we're going to do is we're actually gonna paint around the edge of the hair. And it is gonna look a little strange in some areas, but just trust me, it's gonna be okay in the end. So that's what that ended up looking like. Up here you can see the flyaways that it caught, and down here where that black poster was, I do have some edges that pulled out a little bit, but you can also see where it's catching the hair that's around the edge, and that's really what we want. So this is a good thing. Go all the way around, and as we go, some of these things are not going to get fixed, and we'll have to attend to them later, but for the most part, it should grab some of those flyaways, and even though it looks a little funny, in the end, it's gonna work out for us, and you will see what I mean. Just go all the way around the edges of the hair. All right, and I think that pretty well covers it. And once we're finished, we just click OK, and the selection won't look terribly different, but you will see how it's different here in just a minute.